here at the People's Summit for Democracy in Los Angeles, California. The People's Summit is being organized to counter the Summit of the Americas hosted by the US-influenced Organization of American States. Historically, the Summit of the Americas has been a place for the United States to lay down its own agenda for the people of the two continents with very little input from those people themselves. It is extremely important that this People's Summit was organized here in LA. We are in the center of US hegemony, basically. Um, so it is extremely important that the peoples demonstrate and have with that we have debates like the one that we have had just now and that we organize ourselves around solidarity real solidarity like everyone was saying here so not just empathy but also acting together so really advocating for each other for each country and it is important that we get to know the realities of our peoples the way it really is because the the official summit is a diplomatic summit. People are not talking truth to power, of course, because it is diplomacy. Many issues that are crucial are excluded, taken out from the agenda. Here is where we can have the real conversations that are going to move the needle, that are going to lead to social change. And this is why the People's Summit is so important, because these are the discussions that we need to have if we want real social change. This year, Latin American leaders across the continents have rejected the U.S. agenda by protesting the exclusion of three countries that the United States is actively hostile towards, Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, who, according to the United States, will not be able to attend the Summit of the Americas. Starting with the president of Mexico, scores of Latin American leaders have decided to boycott the Summit of the Americas rendering it a complete failure. But Nicaragua, Venezuela, and Cuba are not the only ones who are being excluded from the Summit of the Americas. The physical location where the summit is being held is fenced off to the people of the United States themselves. The people of the United States are not able to participate in the crucial discussions happening at the Summit of the Americas. This is why organizers are convening the People Summit. The People's Summit is not happening behind closed doors. As you can see, it's open to the public and it's a free summit. The People's Summit is being organized in order to bring together in dialogue the people across the two continents on issues that affect working people directly, like labor rights, housing, healthcare, and policing. Organizers of the People's Summit are saying that this is a historic event for the people's movements in Los Angeles, across the United States, and in the entire Americas. We don't defend what we don't know, and we won't live nor die for that which we don't love. And I think one of the, you know, one of the aspects of solidarity, one of the aspects of internationalism is loving our class loving the poor and working class people all over the world and understanding that if we have, if we have a global enemy, which we, we have identified and it's called capitalism and it's called imperialism and it's called the neoliberal projects that exist around the world, if we have one common enemy, we must have a common strategy. And that common strategy is a people's internationalism, is the possibility of knowing each other and loving each other enough to defend and protect each other from our enemy. And I bring that forth because, yes, the United States, all of its administrations, are very much responsible for the migration of our people to this country. They are responsible for spreading war and misery. And we must be responsible to defend our people from that misery and that war. We must take on the responsibility to uplift, promote, and defend life because capitalism and imperialism, our extraction, and their proposal has been and will always continue to be death. The People's Summit is convening from June 8th, 9th, and 10th. 
People's Dispatch will be closely covering the summit. Stay tuned for more coverage.